We got fired yeah. up one time with each other. Um, and the best part about it was the next night I had to host <laughs> a an event for the uh, Aaron was the recipient for the St. Jude's like <clears throat> incredible like person of the year award night before and we were a mother <laughs> each other. Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. Welcome, everybody, to the pregame uh, program. Pre-game program. Aaron, are you still on the pregame from last night? This girl straight off a plane oh. from New Orleans. <laughs> I am in Seattle. We will get into all that later. Right now, what's important is the questions you guys submit, and we love you for yep. it. So... First things first, this one's for you, sister. Watch me Tay-Tay, which first of all is adorable, a playoff. Watch me Nene, the the first time I've ever actually understood someone's name I didn't. I thought Tay-Tay was Taylor Swift. That's adorable. Very cute. Aaron, how were the tunes, quote, I need the tunes tunes in NOLA? Um, Amazing. And I feel like one of my best friends wrote this. I know you didn't. Maybe Jillian did. Or maybe Mark Ingram or Cam Jordan, where we sat there and talked about tunes last night uh, after the game. Tunes were fire. Um, they're naughty by nature. I mean, it, it's always good in New Orleans. Really Do they have a DJ? It. So to, to set this up for you guys, each stadium, yep. um, I get excited for, especially Aaron, having been on the road much longer than I've been. You get excited because like Carolina, Aaron warned me, has a great, like the, the DJ, DJ there is fire. fire. <laughs> you get so excited. And that was in Philly. They were playing so yeah. much Taylor Swift when I was there for that pregame. So you get excited to go to different cities for various different reasons. Of course, teams, hotels, and the quote tunes in the stadium. Tunes. So um, do they have a DJ or is it just <clears throat> somebody in the good old press box I playing it. I don't know if they do. And forgive me if you are the DJ there and are a calm down fan, because it sounds like <laughs> I need to calm down and pay attention. But it's always like, so loud. It was different, mm. right? Doing a preseason game there. Not as as crazy as it always is in the <laughs> Caesars Palace Superdome. Um, mm-hmm. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, but it, it, the tunes are fire. Um, Kevin was on one last night. He was amazing. He said a couple ones that you would love. We were doing, um, they showed Will Anderson Jr.'s mom dance and he goes, she loves the naughty by nature. And I loved him for that. And then another great one that I died for. I love a good play by play guy that gets a little like, you know, subtle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. we were showing highlights of D'Amico Ryan's talking about why he was so pumped to come to Houston. And he said, excited a ton of times, which I do a lot. And uh, Kevin goes, Jesse Spano, or D'Amico Ryan's with the old Jesse Spano from um, Saved by the Bell, where she's like, I'm so excited. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so scared. So good, Kevin. Those <laughs> The reference, because it's, if, if you get it, yeah, then you, you get, get it, it. And we're ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One time, Joe Buck he did one. I'll never forget. It was a one o'clock kick in Philly. And it just like it's why he's so good. It came out of nowhere. He said, all right, and we are back. And we in to quote Tone Loke, let's do it. And they kicked the ball. It was awesome. I Amazing. Myself. You know who was like that? Not in a play by play fashion, but Robert Flores on Sports Center was unbelievable. He would throw in these zingers that you're just like, if you get, so Brian McKnight, okay, we all know R&B singer, like back at one, like the whole thing, whatever. He came out, and I don't know where this cat had been in hiding. He came out with a song that was very inappropriate, very inappropriate. Like, I don't even know how I got clearance to like make it on the radio. Out of nowhere, Flores is doing a highlight. He's like, you know, three, two count, bottom of the ninth. Anyone heard that new Brian McKnight song? It was so great. And you know, we know the ESPN brass was not happy <laughs> about that. Awesome. He got called into the principal's office real quick after that one. So, so fun. Um, Watch me, Tay Tay. Thank you for your submission. So cute. We're all out of time after that answer. <laughs> Next. Now we have an anonymous submission. Co- this is new here on the pregame. <clears throat> yeah, You're we- allowed to submit anonymously and we're getting some real good ones on that. Go ahead. <laughs> we are. Caught a close friend cheating on their husband. Confront it or stay quiet. I say confront it, confront it all day because I have to, I think about if I'm on the other side of yep. that and I find out later that my, if you knew something and this is, I mean, I don't think there's anything specific, but like, if you know something that I should know, I would be so mad at you that you didn't tell me, even if it hurts my feelings, even if it's something that's going to like disrupt my life, I'll be more upset and question, okay, so you're not a real friend if you don't tell me. So yes, you need to tell because it's not your fault that this is happening. It'll be your fault if you don't say something. Right, right. 
Um, also, anonymous submission. I need more information. How did you find out? What's going on? Here's the th- we need a follow up segment on all anonymous submissions because we still need a follow up on what happened with our last one. I know. Can you guys just get back to us? Are we you want a relationship. Exactly. Exactly. Next one we have got again. I'm going to screw this up. Shanaj. Shanaj. Um, have you ever Shemazel. had? Have you two ever had a disagreement? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh pretty yeah. Pretty heated. I think. Well, yeah, we got fired yeah. up one time with each other. Um, and the best part about it was the next night I had to host <laughs> a an event for the uh, Aaron was the recipient for the St. Jude's like, incredible <clears throat> like person of the year award. She was the first female to ever receive this honor for the Pat yeah. Summerall Award for St. Jude's night before and we were a- motherfucking each other. <laughs> Very prestigious honor. And we were um, going to town on each other the night before and basically unloading (laughs) every uh, thought we had on one another. And then the next night I get up and I was like, everyone, put your hands together for this very inspirational (laughs) gal. Uh, But it was actually a great way to get over it because it made me realize that our friendship was strong enough to have that conversation. And then conversely, the next night truly like say everything that I like love about Aaron as well. So I think any good friendship or any good relationship should be able to have those kind of blow ups um, and then find resolution in it. So, yeah, we've had him. Oh, yeah. Um, Carol. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Carol Baldwin. <laughs> Tips for skin breaking out with so much plane travel. I travel a lot for work, mm. too, and it kills me. Girl, I feel you. It's hard for me. Carissa really makes an effort at the airport. I just try to wear minimal makeup on a plane because it's just like you got to give your skin a break. Now, if you have to go to a meeting, maybe you could just do a little bit and then add it in the car. I know that's a pain in the ass, but I know I look like a nightmare for my crew, especially at 5 a.m. this morning in the New Orleans airport. Whoa. Hey, God. Um, Concealer does a lot, but I just think you need to give your skin a break. Also, too, Chris is great about taking showers seven times a day. Maybe try to wash your face when you get to the hotel or wherever you're Mm -hmm. traveling to. Also, keep your hands away from your face when you're traveling. So a couple things on this. Um, It's well documented and spoken about on my end uh, about my bouts with acne to 20 years of it, 10 decades, uh, 10 decades, two decades (laughs) um, worth of acne (laughs) divide by one. Numbers never lie. Everyone see that show? No. The numbers didn't lie. No one watched that show. Where's Michael Smith? Get off your laptop. Um, I think this. I used to... (laughs) Everyone, grab a mitt because the balls are flying. I don't need balls flying at my face. What was that from? What is that from? What what is that from? Clueless. Yes. I don't want balls flying. It's a very expensive designer. Good, good. Good, good. So back to the originally scheduled program and answer to the question. I used to want to be cute all the time. Like I'm going to put on heels and walk through the airport and be adorable. And like, I just did an interview. So I have a full face of makeup. This face would have went to the airport in this because I was trying to be adorable and look for my soulmate. Now this gets scrubbed off as soon as this podcast is over. Full on serum, 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 serum Serum slathered on the face and comfortable clothes. So to Aaron's point, it's time. It's time to relinquish. And also, I feel like I look older with a lot of makeup on. So I'm getting into the less is more and probably should have done it like 10 years ago. So, oh, my God, on our full length podcast that is released on Thursdays for those of you that need a schedule album drop. I want to discuss shorts on a plane. Not to be confused with snakes on a plane. Writing it down. Shorts Ew. on a plane. I can't. Ew. Because you got that voice note I left you when we were talking about it. Mm-hmm. Put some clothes on. Put some clothes on right now. <laughs> okay. Put some so clothes on. on. I, I also don't know what our timing is. Uh, we're good. Is Ryan available? No. Nope. Okay. Can't make it. Um, <laughs> Carol Baldwin. Tips. Oh, sorry. That's fine. Um, that's I'm following along. Jill Hand. What is the hardest part of your job? Go 40. This is it. The next day, 4.30, wake up, 6.30, flight home. Yeah, slept three and a half hours on the plane with my neck all jacked up, but now trying to function and you feel like shit all day. And I only have two days at home. Well, I really have a day and a half before I have to go back on the road. So this is kind of it. You know, somebody asked me, are you going to take a nap? Nap? Ryan's back. He's back. You're tired. You take a nap. You don't move to Napa. Is Mac taking a nap right now? I missed a baby. Um, he is taking a nap. It was nice to Which come I, home and see him. This was my first time away. We can talk about that on the full length, writing it down. We're going, we're going to, because that was one of my questions to you that I was thinking about you this morning, where what a crazy 
journey of like the 20 years you've worked in the industry, 25 years, wherever, what, number, whatever number we're at, that this is the first time you're going to come I home to a smush know. phase. So I can't wait to hear your thoughts on that and everything else in between. Okay, last question is... Uh, yay, yay, uh, yay, Tay. Are you fans of Miley Cyrus? I am a fan... I don't want to say, like, I'm not not a fan of Miley Cyrus. I don't know a ton of her music. I know it when Aaron starts singing it or the one from the photo shoot that you were, like, really into. Remember, I remember you were sitting down for a DK Metcalf interview was oh, like two yeah. <laughs> years ago. And it was, like, this hot song, and she was, like, listening to it on repeat and ended up using it in the feature and the whole thing. Um, I like anyone that's authentic, and so she falls under that category. She's unapologetic. She's had a lot of different versions of herself, and I like some one that can also write a song that gets back at their ex. So yeah. flowers to you. Uh, <laughs> I can't be changed. That's so long ago. Um, <laughs> I like her. Yeah, she's good. I can't imagine not having a relationship with Liam Hemsworth not work out. I would have done anything for that to work out. Not saying to be with him, but I would do anything, anything for love. Um, but we wow, that's have a, a great producer callback. back. But I won't do that. What won't he do? Remember that video? What won't he Could do? This I don't know, but that video was unbelievable on the motorcycle and the hair flying up? back. But what will he not do? I'll tell you what we're not going to do. Keep going on in this pregame because we've got a lot more material where this is coming from. Grab your coffee cocktail. Stay with us. The Falling Podcast is this Thursday. And Aaron is straight off the road and has stories already. I am on the road and the flight's been canceled. Makeup intact. And I did something in an interview that I've never done before. That's a tease in the biz. Stay with and us. And she's on one you. right now. Sure. And she is I sassy am. pants. And in one. Mm -hmm. Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. For more podcasts from iHeartRadio, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.